I produced a video, a very popular one indeed, on what unhappy, miserable Kenyan women don't know. Alafu, nikaona chemta makuni. <laughs> now I appreciate that is an old school phrase. Yeah. It was around at a time when most on this channel were not born. Many were not even an idea. <laughs> so let me translate. It means I produced that video. Nikajua sikuwa najua. You know it appears that these people who wanted to have a go at me you know, really deal with me. Did not want to do it on the open channel. Yeah, maybe they were scared. Yeah, they said this guy has a lot of support on the open channel. But they knew where to find me. And they dealt with me. Ay, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you know, this is very similar to a husband-wife situation. Where you go for a social function somewhere. And your wife is smiling. But meanwhile, she's sitting. Yeah? And you continue with your tabiambaya. Your wife is just smiling. She's being very nice to people. But she knows where she's going to deal with you. And it is a place where it hurts most. Kwa sababu mkifika nyumbani, kwanza mkiingia ndani ya bedroom, na kuampia, utajuta majuto. Utajua ujui. <laughs> The long and short of what I was done <laughs> is that in Liweka discipline, I was told how I know nothing about marriages. I was told I should bring my wife out, yeah, so that she confirms whether I preach water and instead in secret I'm drinking hard whiskey. <laughs> And others that had directed me with the immediate effect to produce a video on what naive and happy Kenyan men do not know. And so here we are. This is that video. In compliance, strict compliance to instructions. <laughs> Just kidding. I was going to produce this video right from the beginning. But the issue here is that I needed to appreciate or I needed to be reminded that the topic I'm handling is extremely emotive to most women. Yeah. Women get very emotional when you start discussing relationship issues. If you've had the expression touching a live wire, yeah, if you want to touch a live wire in the ladies, discuss relationships. And yet this is an important topic. And let me make it clear, I'm not interested in theories. Yeah, because we've had theories for a long time. And look where they've gotten us. It is okay for you to get upset, that's only natural, if you're a good lady. Yeah, but uh, don't give us theories. Theories that will force you to lie. Get upset, yeah, tell me off, and then tell me how happy your marriage is. Yeah, and don't tell me by giving me fairy tales. Tell me we started like this, like this with my husband, but it works today because of one, two, three. That one I can accept. But I think I'm too old. I've seen too much, yeah, to swallow fairy tales, hook, line, and sinker. So that is what I mean. You know, we have a very serious problem in Kenya. And let nobody think this is a personal attack. Yeah, because I've seen this all over the country. Virtually in every corner of the country. And let me start with a certain behavior on our roads. Don't worry, I'm not going off topic. I just want to illustrate this perfectly. You're driving along a Kenyan road. And in order to avoid a pothole, you start driving on the wrong side of the road. Yeah. Now, of course, you're guilty of an offense. You're driving on the wrong side of the road. That is true. 
And then the oncoming vehicle, you are seeing that you are driving on the wrong side of the road. Hataki kujua. They accelerate. <laughs> I'm telling you, Kenyans. Ay, yeah, 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 yeah. So they accelerate. They add speed. Yeah. And you know what they're saying to themselves? I am right. I'm in the right. The other person is in the wrong. Sasa, whatever happens, let it happen. Because I'm right. I'm just wishing this ends up in a head-on collision. Yeah. To prove that I'm right. And the other person is wrong. Now, it's a mystery to me where this desperation to be right came from. Yeah, maybe it's from the 844 system of education. I have no idea because I don't know everything. Now, this same attitude comes through very clearly in discussions and debates. Now, I was taught in primary school many decades ago that the correct way to debate is to give and take. To understand the points of the other person yeah, and to bring out your own stronger points. I was taught in debate there's nothing like one side being right and the other side being wrong. Yeah. What mattered was how effectively you're able to bring out points to convince yeah, people to go on your side. And so, for instance, one way to score big points against the other side is to take their point yeah, and then turn it against them. Now, there's no way you can do this unless you've been listening keenly to what your opponents are saying. And that is what makes enjoyable debate. But sadly, I've observed, the modern way of debate is matusi and a desperation to be right, to be spot on, never to make a mistake. The idea of debate in Kenya today is to completely finish, destroy the other side. <laughs> so that you insult them, you corner them, so that they can no longer talk. Then you have won that debate. What? Now obviously, these people have never read history, specifically about the wise Greeks. And I'm sure they're not interested. Anyway, let's quickly move on to the topic of this video. Now that I've uh, cleared the air. The biggest mistake miserable, unhappy Kenyan men make is to choose the wrong qualities in their woman. Because number one on their list, she must be very beautiful. She must be. She has to be the kind of woman who takes other men's breath away. She must be the kind of woman yeah, who a man just sees and they start sweating. <laughs> now, it is our fault, older generation Kenyans. We didn't talk to our sons. We didn't give them the secrets. We didn't give them the tips. It's not their fault. It's ours. Older Kenyans, shame on you, including me. We have caused irreparable damage. Now, here's the thing. The woman you want to be your wife, the woman you want to be the mother of your children, needs one very important quality. And it's nothing to do with their looks. You need to find a woman with a heart of gold. A woman with a very beautiful, drop-dead gorgeous heart. Now it is a truism of this life that most women, not all, a vast majority of women who are very beautiful to look at, have very ugly hearts. Hearts that you cannot even stand to behold disgusting hearts and even if you don't believe me there's plenty of evidence in history yeah even in the holy bible just ask a man called samson who fell head over heels in love with a gorgeous beautiful to behold woman called 
Delilah. You see, this should be a no-brainer. Yeah, if you engage yeah, the right organ in your body to do the thinking. Excuse my French. Because even Diamond Platinums, the famous singer, has told us, Ujana ni majimoto. Youth is like hot water. Hot water cools very fast. That beauty that you chose will vanish <laughs> before you realize what's happening. And you're going to be left with the heart. Therefore, always, my fellow men, choose the heart over the looks. Because if you don't, if that marriage lasts somehow, by some miracle, You'll be left with a very ugly face and a very ugly heart. You'll have to deal with both. Because very beautiful women become very ugly in old age. Or as they age, yeah, average and medium beauty women maintain, maintain their looks better. And let me tell you something else. Highly sensitive, but 100% true. Because you see, my past life is something I'm very ashamed of. Yeah, I've lived a very sinful life. I've had many, many, many women. And therefore I believe I'm an authority to tell you the following. Most beautiful women, virtually all beautiful women, how are you mchezo ya kitanda? Watakubo mpaka ukasirike. Ukuawa, utawafunza wafunze awatashika. Watawai kushika ata siku moja. Watabaki hapo hapo. Yani wanabo. Trust me. In my life I've met many women who are not beautiful. Not really. Some are almost ugly. Oh yes. Lakini kifika kwa hiyo mchezo. Na kwambi utapanda waya stima. <laughs> so why men are so miserable you marry a very beautiful woman she has got a very ugly heart na ikifika hapo kwa bedroom she's also very ugly now would you blame such a man for being miserable now let's be careful here don't get me wrong you're not supposed to sample before you marry. No, not allowed. It's a sin. It is not what Almighty God wants for us. Yeah, and you know what God wants for us is always best. So if you're looking to marry, just look for the most beautiful heart you can find. Yeah, and everything else will fall into place. There's something else miserable men yeah, don't know, especially those who are married. And it is the way the heart of a woman is wired. I have of course said this many times, but I can't say it enough times. And it is the following. Please, this is a very important lesson. Listen carefully. When you speak to a man, your words go in through the ears and straight to the brain for analysis. The result of that analysis in the brain computer are what are going to cause the reaction of the heart here down there in the chest. But when you speak to a woman, the words go in through the ears and straight to the heart for analysis. And that analysis in the computer called the heart is what is going to decide what analysis the brain up there in the head is going to give that is a very important point you need to remember if you're a man and you want to be happy better to keep quiet even if she provokes you yeah until you just have to speak bite your tongue don't speak because whatever you say <laughs> is going to have such a huge impact that it could even endanger your life. Oh yes, you heard me right. Being a typical Kenyan man 
who marries a wife for his friends, to impress his friends, to impress his family, to impress everybody at how beautiful she is. If you are that typical Kenyan man, you will have a woman in your house already who has a very ugly heart. Correct? And then one day you'll do something. And then you will say something that will go straight to her heart for processing. And she will decide then and then that the wrath of her revenge is what you're going to get. And that is precisely what you're going to get. And sometimes, actually most of the times, it can be quite extreme. I'm sure you've heard the stories. Yeah, so-and-so's wife was found on her marital bed by the husband. Yeah, with another man. Yeah. Now, not all these are accidents. Some of them are planned accidents. Yeah, she does it while wishing at the back of her mind that one day you'll find her. Yeah, that'll be her revenge. Because that'll cut into your heart. <laughs> The way nothing else can cut into your heart. We also have very many unsolved murder mysteries. Your husband goes on safari to a town very far away from his home. And he gets murdered under mysterious circumstances. And the murder is never solved. Yeah, well, it had something to do with the wife. The wife called somebody from her past. The wife organized and maybe it was even just an admirer of hers from the past. Nothing serious. But he was willing to do this favor for her. Yeah. Remove you from this earth. And it's done. End of story. And so, even if you think you're a very strong man, you don't care what you say to women. You're not sensitive with what comes out of your tongue. Although you're supposed to be a man, your weapon is not your tongue. That's a weapon of the woman. Even if you're a very strong man, be careful. Yeah, because there are stronger men than you who are six feet under today. Yeah, because they didn't uh, pay attention to this very important rule. Now, I want to make it very clear that I'm not attacking anybody. My intention is not to upset anybody. My intention is to help. My intention is to help men by enabling them to see yeah, beyond what they're seeing at the moment. Men have also been greatly affected by Hollywood movies. Yeah. So they believe that what happens in the movies is what is supposed to happen in real life. Wake up, my fellow man. That is a movie. What we're talking about here is real life. And I also need to announce early. When you meet me in the future which we don't know, with that very beautiful wife of mine, please, <laughs> Please, all I can say for now is that sometimes we learn very late in life. And I don't want you to make the same mistakes I have made. I want you to turn out better. I want you to be happier, much happier in this life. And it's not that I'm not happy. And so to summarize, if you're a man, go out there and look for a heart of gold. Now I must tell you that you'll be pleasantly surprised most of the times. Because many times when you find this heart of gold, yeah, you'll also discover that the woman is beautiful in her own way. The beauty is not obvious, but it's there. It'll never be noted by the casual observer which going forward is also good for you and once you have found her stick to her be faithful to her and remember to keep on depositing nice words in her heart yeah so that you get a return in terms of her feelings for you because if you deposit matope in her heart bad words, hurtful words, then what kind of reaction do you expect? Even if she has a heart of gold. Yeah. Until next time, this is Chris Komekucha.